I'm Cheryl Lazar for What's Trending. I'm right now talking to Eric Mijakovsky. He's the founder of Pebble, the largest Kickstarter campaign ever. Now, you've raised over $8 million in around three weeks, which is yeah. just incredible. You've broken all records. Uh, what do you think it is about Pebble that struck such a chord with people online? I think, uh, I mean, A, there's a lot of iPhone users out there, and this is our first product that supports iPhone, so that's a pretty big deal. But I think it's just generally, people want to see cool devices talk to their phone. And Pebble, uh, it's a watch that talks to your iPhone and Android phone. You can download different apps and different watch faces to install on your watch. Um, it also partners with a lot of different apps on your phone, like RunKeeper and some other sports apps. So I think people are kind of dreaming of, what a cool watch would be. And, you know, we posted a video on our Kickstarter page that shows a lot of these different uh, cool ways that you can use Pebble. And I think people are just kind of, they can imagine themselves using it. We've invented this entire platform. We built the hardware, we built the software, and uh, we posted it. It's only uh, $115 on Kickstarter. I think the entry, I mean, the, the, pr the price point is kind of cool for people. You know, it's not a massive um, uh, investment. It's just like, let's, let's grab this cool device that works with iPhone. Well, describe to me what happened. You, you put this up on Kickstarter, and then, you know, how did it get its first, I guess, promotion? You know, how did people we, start just talking about it? Well, before we launched, we talked to Engadget, and they were interested in running a story on us. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we launched, they just uh, posted a story. In the first two hours um, after the Engadget article came out, we sold about $100,000 worth of watches. And then at the end of the day, I think that, you know, one of the, uh, one of the Y Combinator mantras is uh, make something that people want. And before we launched on Kickstarter, we actually emailed the product to, you know, all my friends, my parents, my relatives, and they all, um, they all really liked what we were making, and so we had a pretty good feeling. And why t go to Kickstarter for something like this? I think Kickstarter is really cool because you can basically chat with the community. You can talk directly to the customer and, and find out what they want, find out what they're thinking, and uh, impress them if you've got something impressive to show off. I think that other methods of getting to getting hardware companies started is, you know, raising money from venture capitalists and, you know, cutting a deal with Best Buy to get your product in stores. And that's all great. I mean, it just wasn't the path that we chose. So where does $8 million go to? I mean, is it going to your company? Is it all going to manufacturing these watches and products? So a large chunk of it goes towards actually making the physical watches. And the second large chunk goes towards uh, a batch of engineers that we have working on really cool software for Pebble. So how old are you? What was your background before this? I'm 25. I, I worked. Um, I've been working on this pro this project company for quite a while now since I graduated from uh, the University of Waterloo three uh, three years ago. What does the future hold for Pebble after this this one campaign? So I think we're focusing on getting the word out about the physical Pebble hardware right now. We'll shift at the end of the year to start talking about the apps that developers can write that run on top of Pebble. Uh, we think that it's it's a platform on your wrist and there's cool apps that people can run anything from watch faces to sports apps to games. Imagine like playing little casual games on your watch, you know, when you're running for the bus or something like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. And then that's what we're going to be focusing on uh, at the end of 2012 and into 2013. Is this something this that app. we're going to get in a store possibly in the future? Yeah, uh, uh, we're going to have a watch app store. But who are your competitors? Uh, so there's a couple other people out there that have made um, smart watches. They're all kind of, all the other watches and sort of physical wearable products, they're all built for a single purpose. Like they're great for running or they're great for swimming or they're great for cycling. But there's not really one product that crosses all the boundaries. And so we're looking to become that product. Now, lastly, what advice would you give other entrepreneurs who are wanting to go on Kickstarter, get their projects funded? How can they stand out? I'd suggest uh, talking to your friends. Um, if your product or project seems to really resonate with your friends on Facebook and, um, and it seems to be something that people want or you know, at least your friends want, then you're doing something right. I think you're, you're, you're on the right track. Well, Eric, thank you so much for talking to us today and sharing your incredible story. Happy to be here. And of course, for more of What's Trending online, just go to whatstrending.com.